It's been nearly two years since a chunk of Ukraine was torn away by Russian separatists, but there may be a break in Ukraine's efforts to get the Crimea back. Joining me now is Petro Poroshenko. He's the president of Ukraine. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for the invitation. That's getting a lot of discussion here at the World Economic Forum, but so is this breaking news that's coming out of England that a British inquiry has shown that Russian President Vladimir Putin probably poisoned one of his Kremlin critics. So I want to ask you about both of these things, because I wouldn't say you two are on speaking terms. Is that correct? <laughs> I think that we should pay very serious attention to the British investigation and uh, uh, the case when it happened in London. It seems to me it was in the year 2006. We understand that it takes 10 years for making an investigation, but uh, I think that uh, Russia should be on contrary, very cooperative with any investigation. Investigation in London, investigation in Netherlands about the MH17 terroristic attack in Ukrainian skies, which brings 298 innocent victims, and all of other crimes on the east of my country, where every single day, uh, Ukrainian soldiers defending our territorial integrity, our sovereignty and our independence, giving their lives to defend them in my country from Russian aggression. And uh, Russian become more and more unpredictable. And I think this is not simply danger for Russia, for Ukraine, danger for Europe or danger for Syria. This is a global security challenge and the country should be united just to write, find out the right answer. Well, it's a, pretty, it's a pretty dramatic statement to have a British inquiry say that Vladimir Putin poisoned a former critic, Alexander Litvinenko. Does this make you fear for your safety? Wow. <laughs> I think, look, this is not a safe job now in this situation to be the president of Ukraine, no doubt. I can't let you go before I ask you some about a development in the United States. The Obama administration now says that they are going to have more stringent checks when it comes to allowing people with dual citizenship in from Europe if they also have citizenship in Iraq, in Syria, in the Sudan. What do you think about that? I think this is absolutely right decision because we, as a as Ukraine stop more than 10,000 Russians who try to enter to Ukraine and who have a suspicious for possible organizing the terroristic attack and our secret services uh, stop or prevent just during the last year 207 terroristic attack and most of this terrorist we presented it to the world we put it in jail we give them absolutely court process uh, we are prepared in the training camp on the territory of the russian federation and uh, that should be a responsibility of the state the same way like today the chief of the special monitoring mission of the oec which observed the situation on the occupied territory said that that would be completely unacceptable when pro-Russian forces open the fire on this special monitoring mission. And that cannot bring to the peace and stability and should be some responsibility for those who violate the Minsk agreement, for those who bring in with the terroristic purposes, no matter if they come to Ukraine or to the United States.